Hey YouTube, this is Ames Bro, and for this video we are going to be looking at the um, some of the pickups that I got for Christmas this year. Now what we're going to do, is we're actually going to do some, a couple series of videos. We're going to do it, this one for the gaming. We're actually going to do one tomorrow, which will be for um, anime, and another one will be for music on the next day. So this is literally going to be three separate videos. Why? Because I don't feel like doing a 30 minute video tonight. <laughs> Plus I started late. If I actually did decide to do this video earlier, uh, I might have done everything. But, here are the games. And the games are going to be, by the way, for the systems you may or may not be able to see behind me. My PlayStation uh, Portable is sitting there. And on the far side, the PlayStation uh, Vita. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go <coughs> through um, the games that I picked up uh, for Christmas. Now, I do have one um, PS Vita game. Actually, I do have two PS Vita games that weren't Christmas related. Both Hatsumiku Project Diva games. Uh, Project Diva F and Second. So, and I also re-downloaded uh, Dragon Fantasy Book One because I do want to play through that game. Okay. Here are the three PS Vita games, though. We're going to do these first. First, we have Hot Shots Golf World Invitational, which, by the way, I played on the PS3. And I love that freaking game. Uh, da, 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 da. Final Fantasy X and X2 HD Remaster. And again, by the way, of the two games, which one do you think I actually like better? That'd be X2. The one everybody else hates for whatever goddamn reason. But you can't give me a legitimate reason. Uh, what would you gotta do? And lastly, but certainly not least, and I have not opened this one yet, uh, Ease Memories of Salsetta. I believe is how you pronounce that. This is the standard edition. So that is what we got for the PS Vita outside of the games which I've already mentioned. Now we get to the PSP. There are five games sitting in my hand. And <laughs> I'm not kidding. Goddamn near all of them <clears throat> are Ultimate games. Ultimate or visual novel games. So, this is going to be really interesting considering the fact that, yeah, I get the ability to try and go through and 100% them for review purposes. Fun, isn't it? <laughs> I think so, actually. So, let's get started. First up, and this one's actually in my PSP as we speak, this game is Brothers Conflict Pash or excuse me, Brilliant Blue. I gotta hit myself. Now this is the companion game to this game. This is Passion Pink. The funny part is, <clears throat> this one actually came out first. This one came out about a week before the anime the anime in Japan ended. And I have seen uh, the series. You can go uh, check out my review on my YouTube channel. So, we got those. Okay. Next up, we have... This one is the only English one, by the way. Hakuoki... I believe I pronounced that right. Demon of the... F Demon of the Floating Blossom from our friends at Axis who made the very good and very brilliant 999 and I believe also Virtue's, Virtue's Last Resort or Virtue's Last Reward so and I think they came out for the Vita I'm actually going to try and see if we can get a hold of that at some point uh, let's see where do we go next this is an interesting one 
and she did a review for the anime. La Corte de Oro Primo Paso. This is the, um, I think the greatest hits edition from Koei, believe it or not. Um, oh, wait to show you something kind of neat. I, I, I think it is. If you look on the back, you will notice that because this game was rated A, which you may or may not, there we go, you don't see any nifty little stuff on the back. Well, on this one, you actually do. This one was rated C by Cero. So on the back, you actually get to see some nifty little pictures. Now, if somebody can help me understand what they mean, I think one means alcohol, one means romance, and the other one I'm not sure of. But if anybody knows exactly what those pictures mean, by all means, drop it in the comments. Thank you. Uh, the thing about this game is, well, for one, it's been around for, the series itself has been around for ages. Uh, since 2003, so you're going on, what, this will be the 12th year. It just not long ago had its, um, second series, Blue Sky, or third if you want to count, uh, the OVA for second Paso. And it's interesting because... Not only are you doing the visual novel aspects, but you're also dealing with trying to actually win the competitions, along with winning the hearts of one of the gentlemen involved in the game. Oh, and if anybody asks which one's my personal favorite, that guy. His name is Len Sukamori, aka the uh, <coughs> excuse me, aka the Ice Prince. By the way. The guy who voiced him, uh, Kisho Tayama, actually also voices one of the characters in Kuroko's Basketball, and also voices Natsuki Shinomaya from Yutapuri. So, busy? Uh, you can say that. And lastly, actually I think I may have had these uh, wore alphabetically. This is one of the Kuroko no Basket games. This one came out for the PSP, and this one is also rated A. This one's interesting, though. Um, it's a visual novel, real-time strategy game, from what I've seen on YouTube. And I believe this actually follows a story from the first season. There is a game that came out for the three for the three DS, and there's actually another one coming out for the three DS. Um, soon they actually just promoted it in um, in Japan, and it is on Anime News Network. If you can go find it, but um, this one should be interesting to go check out because I have never played a real time strategy game. Um, like this, so that's going to be interesting to say the very, very, very least. Now, the goal is going to be a challenge. See these five games? Yeah, they're all getting reviewed at some point. And no, I'm not kidding you. Which means you will get a review. For Brilliant Blue and Passion Pink. However, I'm going to make it really tricky. You won't get the review until I've actually 100%ed both these bad boys. I have not decided how I'm going to do it yet for this game. Probably the same way as I did 999 and all the other ones accordingly. So, that are the... those are the games. Uh, tomorrow will be the... I'll tell you what, tomorrow we'll do the music section. And then uh, the day after I will do the anime. 
Okay? So, until then, my friends, you have a great uh, rest of your day after Christmas. And to my Canadian friends, well, my, excuse me, my Canadian and UK friends, European friends, happy Boxing Day, everyone. And I hope you have a pleasant one. Take care, gang.